The dwarf planet Pluto is one of the most exciting celestial bodies in our neighborhood. We would like to present you with some real images of Pluto and provide you with a lot of background information and important facts about the former planet in the same breath. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up. Subscribe to Simply Space and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Pluto, the former planet, for many years was classified as a planet. Accordingly, the celestial body was also an integral part of our planetary system for a long period of time. This changed, however, in the year 2006 when the professional world revised its definition of planets, which finally led to the fact that Pluto is now classified as a dwarf planet. Since then, the celestial body, like so many other planets and moons, was named after a figure of Roman mythology, where the deity Pluto describes the ruler of the underworld. The first space probe that was sent into the immediate vicinity of the dwarf planet was named New Horizons. The NASA spacecraft approached Pluto at a distance of up to 12,500 kilometers during its mission, which was launched on January 19, 2006. The New Horizons probe was able to gather important information about the dwarf planet. The images that the space probe took of the dwarf planet show Pluto in all its galactic beauty. But what is the current state of knowledge about Pluto that we humans have? Discovery and naming that Pluto exists with certainty is known to us humans since February 18, 1930. Although the scientists of that time suspected the existence of the celestial body already for a longer period of time, it was to take about 25 years before the expert's thesis could be substantiated with facts. By comparing numerous photographs of the sky, astronomers at the Lowell Observatory in the U.S. city of Flagstaff finally succeeded in proving the presence of our neighbor. Since the employees of this renowned research facility were the first to discover the celestial body, they also had the privilege of naming it. The fact that the dwarf planet was finally baptized the Roman god of the underworld, however, is due to the then 11-year-old Venetia Burney. The experts were so impressed by the girl's name proposal that they immediately made it official. A dwarf planet far from the sun with an equatorial diameter of 2,374 kilometers, Pluto is significantly smaller than our Earth's moon, which has a diameter of around 3,474 kilometers. Spatially speaking, Pluto has always traveled in the so-called Kuiper Belt. This is a remote region within our solar system in which an estimated 70,000 galactic objects cavort. Pluto itself is the oldest known celestial body in the Kuiper Belt. While our blue home planet needs a year, or 365 days, to fully orbit the fixed star of our planetary system, Pluto needs a much longer period of time for the same undertaking. In fact, it takes an incredible 248 years before the dwarf planet has ever orbited the Sun. The days on Pluto are also much longer than on our Earth. While we define an earthly day as a period of 24 hours, a Pluto day lasts 153 hours. The spatial distance between Pluto and the Sun, which in detail amounts to about 6 billion kilometers, not only provides the giant orbit of the dwarf planet but naturally also has a direct influence on the climate of the celestial body. Because Pluto is so far away from the fixed star of our solar system, the surface of the dwarf planet will never be warmer than negative 218 degrees Celsius. If one were to look up into the sky on Pluto, the Sun would not appear as a large, clearly delineated disk, but merely as one of the countless small stars in the firmament. Since Pluto only receives very little sunlight due to its position, it's all the more difficult to recognize the dwarf planet from our Earth. In fact, it's not at all possible to locate the celestial body without technical aids. Despite this, Pluto is still the brightest known representative of the Kuiper Belt. Before a few more celestial bodies were discovered that clearly resembled Pluto in size, characteristics, and composition, researchers assumed that the former planet was originally a moon of Neptune. Today, we know that Pluto probably originated together with the Kuiper Belt, which was formed from remnants that emerged during the formation of the outer planetary system. Pluto is a solid celestial body whose mass consists mainly of rock and water ice. With an area of around 17.6 million square kilometers, its surface is roughly the size of the South American continent. While scientists once thought that Pluto was once a moon of Neptune, we now know that the dwarf planet itself has at least five natural satellites. The largest of all Pluto moons is Charon. Before the first spacecraft reached the immediate vicinity of Pluto, 
several years were to pass. As we mentioned briefly, it was the NASA probe New Horizons that first took a closer look at the celestial body. In the following, we would like to inform you about the large-scale mission of the renowned space agency, the New Horizons Project of NASA. NASA's New Horizons mission is part of the overall New Frontiers program. This is a large-scale project of the world-famous space agency, over the course of which our solar system is to be explored in detail with unmanned aerial vehicles. Over the course of which our solar system is to be explored in detail with unmanned aerial vehicles. As we briefly mentioned, New Horizons was the first probe ever to reach the close vicinity of the dwarf planet Pluto. Therefore, the mission goals given to the NASA space probe were all the more important. A curiosity at the edge, when the New Horizons left the Earth's surface on January 19, 2006, Pluto was still considered a full planet. Meanwhile, the new classification to a dwarf planet followed only in August of the same year. The goals of the mission were to take a detailed look at the geological features of Pluto and its moon Charon. However, mapping the surface of the dwarf planet was also a key part of the project. The atmosphere of the celestial body was also to be investigated. In addition, new horizons should provide mankind with high-resolution images of our neighbor for the first time. On April 15, 2015, the time had finally come. NASA published the first detailed photo of the dwarf planet and its moon Charon. But this was only the beginning of a series of countless images that helped scientists understand the surface properties of the celestial body more precisely. New Horizons succeeded in mapping the dwarf planet and its largest moon extensively. The mission also provided important information about the climate and the nature of Pluto. Remarkable is the fact that Pluto has no steady atmosphere. This only forms when the dwarf planet falls below a certain distance from the Sun. From this point on, the ice on the surface of the celestial body begins to melt and form a thin atmosphere around it, consisting mainly of nitrogen. However, when Pluto moves away from the Sun, the substances in the atmosphere freeze again. A photograph taken during the mission shows a stunning heart-shaped object on the surface of Pluto. This is essentially a gigantic glacier which quickly aroused the interests of scientists. The area consists largely of frozen nitrogen. Because of its sheer mass, the glacier once caused the dwarf planet's axis of rotation to change. In combination with the tidal forces acting on Pluto through the moon Charon, the axis of Pluto tilted slightly over time. However, the massive glacier is only one of many. In fact, New Horizons discovered dozens of more glacier, making Pluto one of the few celestial bodies in our solar system where the existence of glacier has been proven. Other measurement results suggest that beneath Pluto's surface, there could be a huge ocean of liquid water hidden under a layer of ice about 4 kilometers thick. Thanks to the images of the New Horizons probe, we now know that the surface of the dwarf planet is adorned by countless craters, canyons, and mountains. The largest mountains on Pluto reach a height of about 3.5 kilometers, resembling the Rocky Mountains on Earth. Experts also suspect that there was once immense volcanic activity on Pluto. However, the volcanic eruptions on Pluto were very different from those on Earth. While on our planet, the eruption of a volcano is accompanied by the appearance of boiling hot lava, the volcanoes on Pluto are said to have spewed ice-cold water, which then froze on the surface of the celestial body. Charon, the largest moon of Pluto, astounded scientists with its unusual geological composition. Just like Pluto, its natural satellite is said to have been affected by numerous ice-cold volcanic eruptions, which played an important role in the development of the moon's surface. The future of New Horizons is bright, as the NASA space probe has long since passed Pluto, but its mission has not yet reached its end. At present, the Sun is on its way to the outermost regions of our planetary system where it's expected to penetrate previously unexplored regions. We hope you enjoyed our trip to Pluto. Do you have any suggestions, thoughts, or questions about our video? The New Horizons mission, launched by NASA, was the first probe ever to reach the close vicinity of the dwarf planet Pluto, making its mission goals all the more important. When New Horizons left the Earth's surface on January 19, 2006, Pluto was still considered a full planet. However, the reclassification of Pluto to a dwarf planet followed in August of the same year. The mission of New Horizons was assigned the task of taking a detailed look at the geological features of Pluto and its moon Charon. 
Mapping the surface of the dwarf planet was also a key part of the project, along with investigating the atmosphere of the celestial body. Additionally, New Horizons was expected to provide mankind with high-resolution images of Pluto for the first time. On April 15, 2015, NASA published the first detailed photo of Pluto and its moon Charon, marking the beginning of a series of images that helped scientists understand the surface properties of Pluto more precisely. The space probe succeeded in mapping the dwarf planet and its largest moon extensively, providing important information about the climate and the nature of Pluto. One of the most remarkable discoveries was that Pluto has no steady atmosphere which forms only when the dwarf planet falls below a certain distance from the Sun. The atmosphere consists mainly of nitrogen, but when Pluto moves away from the Sun, the substances in the atmosphere freeze again. During the mission, New Horizons discovered dozens of glacier on Pluto, making it one of the few celestial bodies in our solar system where the existence of glacier has been proven. Beneath Pluto's surface, there could be a huge ocean of liquid water hidden under a layer of ice about 4 kilometers thick. The surface of the dwarf planet is adorned by countless craters, canyons, and mountains, with the largest mountains on Pluto reaching a height of about 3.5 kilometers. Although the NASA space probe has long since passed Pluto, its mission has not yet reached its end. At present, the Sun is on its way to the outermost regions of our planetary system, where it's expected to penetrate previously unexplored regions. The discoveries made by New Horizons have provided invaluable insights into the nature of Pluto and its moons, challenging our understanding of the outer reaches of our solar system.